Today's tutorial is brought to you by DistroKid, but more on them later. So in this video, we're going to look at fades in FL Studio 21, which have changed significantly with the update, and there are some massive improvements that will greatly help your workflow. Let's just grab a sound here and drop it on the playlist. So now when we drop a sound in, if we hover over it, up in the left and right hand corners respectively, we've now got these little handles. And if we pull these in, we get a fade with a real time animation to show us how that fade's gonna work. If we bring this one in too, that alone is a huge time save and a much better workflow. Now in the middle of this handle, we can adjust the curvature so we can have it so it's kind of like a progressive, very aggressive curve. Or give nice gentle fade-ins or have it be nice and quick. Pretty much whatever solution you would need. If you need it to be like almost instant, just bring the handle right back and just have it like so. That covers just about everything we need on the basic fade side of things. What is also useful if we just grab another texture here and we put say a fade in here, we can overlap them like this and they will just cross fade into one another. But the legends at ImageLine have actually taken that a whole step further. So let's just grab another audio. If we hover over one of our tracks and drop on here, we get the option here. We can have audio clips or audio tracks. We want the audio clips track. And now you can see it's dedicated audio clips track to that piece of audio. Now, if we grab any of these other textures and we drop it on the same track. Now, if we try to overlap them, automatic crossfade. It was absolutely seamless, right? And we can still adjust it as well. So we could have it so this one takes longer to fade in or that the curve comes in a lot later and it fades in a bit quicker. However you need, you can blend it and you get a real time view of exactly what's going on. Now we can take that even further. If we grab another piece of texture here, we want this just to be a really short bit to demo this. So just a little clip like so. And let's say we want that to happen kind of in the middle here. Now we drop that in, nothing particular happens but we can still introduce fades into this piece of audio as well but we can still introduce the fades into this piece of audio as well now the reason I chose this was we can see it significantly louder it's gonna sound odd watch Ah, that kind of sucks, right? The other thing they've added is a very simple gain control. You get this control just at the bottom here. And again, just like the fade, it's completely visual. So if we bring this down, we can just get a nice visual gauge and where that kind of disappears in, that's now gonna blend really well. And we can do whatever we want with that. We could have it so it fades out really, really slowly in that section and just cross blend this as much as we want. So if you don't understand just how powerful that is, I can't help you any further. Now, what about instruments? Well, first, today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. They are my music distributor. They allow me to get all of my music onto all of the major streaming and download platforms, and they do it at a price an independent artist can easily afford. Nevertheless, if you check the description below and find out more about getting your unlimited distribution from DistroKid, you'll also get a discount off of your first year. So how will we do this for instruments? There's a couple of other changes that really help us in doing it with an instrument as well. So let's press F6 and we'll just grab ourselves Harmer and we can drop that here on a track. Now, once we've dropped that on a track, this helps us in a couple of other ways. One, we can just double click and it will open up the instrument for us, which is super useful. And because it automatically put a clip in our playhead as well, we can just double click that and that opens up the piano roll. So we can double click over here, open up Harmer. We need to grab the volume control or whatever it is that we want to control to make it do a fade. In this case, we're going to do post effects on here on Harmer. We can right click that and do create automation clip. Now, because we made a dedicated channel, we've now got a dedicated option below here and we can create a fade by just right clicking any points in and doing a little drop down like this and making sure that this is set to single curve. And then we've got exactly the same curvature there as on the audio fades. <laughs> If you want to know how to do this with 
any instrument and any third party, check the video that is on screen now, and that will show you the best way to do that. And you can find the volume and automation controls for any third party instrument without having to go through all of its individual parameters. If this video was helpful for you, please subscribe to the channel. There are more FL Studios. If this video was helpful for you, please do subscribe to the channel because there are new FL Studio videos every single month. And I do look forward to seeing you in those. Take care.